is located at exactly 666 kilometers away from the North Pole. The distance of South Pole from Mount Kailash is 13, 332 kilometers, exactly twice its distance from the North Pole. So is it location? Just a coincidence? Or is there an intricate design which we are completely missing? Join us in this video to get a step closer to understanding the true mystery of Mount Kailash. The mountain is located in western Tibet and has an altitude of about 6638 meters. The surrounding area of the Kailash. Mountain is filled with our inspiring natural beauty. Your energy level or your mood instantly changes when you approach the mountain. This is the reason why millions of people from all across India and the surrounding regions visit this site every year. Religious ascetics known as sadhus like to indulge in their meditational or spiritual practices in this area. Even if the temperature is freezing, they say that this is a very special location. The powerful currents of energy flowing in the area helps them to achieve spiritual progress much quicker. This mountain not only attracts the religious ascetics, but it holds a special place for millions and millions of people all across the Indian subcontinent. It is considered to be a very important sacred place in multiple religious traditions such as Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, and Ban. Followers of Hinduism believe that one of the supreme gods in their pantheon, Lord Shiva, resides there. Hindu scriptures say that he is the Adiyogi, or uh, the first yogi in the universe. The secret knowledge of Tantra and Yoga came down from him. Ancient Indian religious texts claim that Mount Kailash is the gateway to heaven or Swargaloka from where you can travel to the realms of gods. According to Jain scriptures, this mountain is the site where their first Tirthankara or the first supreme teacher attained moksha or liberation. He got the knowledge of spiritual enlightenment on this mountain. Mount Kailash is also known as Mount Meru the center of all physical, metaphysical, and spiritual universes in Buddhist texts, and therefore it is a major pilgrimage site for many Buddhist traditions, a particular section of the Buddhist called the Vajrayana. Buddhists believe that Mount Kailash is the home of Dem Chok, an incarnation of Buddha who represents supreme bliss, and finally the Bon tradition in Tibet maintains that Mount Kailash is the axis, Monday, or the axis of the earth. According to the Bon tradition, this is the place which connects the heaven and the earth. So what is the reason that so many different religions and traditions trace their roots to this mysterious mountain ancient secrets? Think about it. Why are the faiths and beliefs of all these religions linked to the same spot? It clearly points to us that there is something more than meets the eye. This location is more than just a random natural mountain. It has hidden many secrets at its core. From thousands of years, some researchers have even suggested that the origin of all human civilization could be traced back to this marvelous mountain. Now let us take a look at the accounts of the Russian explorer, Dr. Ernst Maldashev, who came to visit Mount Kailash in the year 1999. He has given a complete detail of his experiences in his book, Where Do We Come From? Not only the Indian cultures, but the Europeans had a great interest in this mountain the German occultists in... However, as far as any record shows, the current Chinese government doesn't care about any religious sentiments. It's officially atheist. So what could be the real reason they are not allowing anyone to explore the area? But don't feel bad if you aren't allowed to climb Mount Kailash, because you might not want to. This mountain is not the highest in the world. Still, all attempts to climb it have been met by utter failure. One of the very strange things observed in the area is high magnetic field activity. If you took a compass to this region, the needle will begin to flutter, and it won't point to true north. That is why landing on the mountain by using a helicopter or drone is also not advisable. Another fascinating thing in the region is the existence of two lakes Mansarova, and despite being just two miles apart, their characteristics are completely opposite. Manzarovar is a freshwater lake, while Rakshosh Tau is a saltwater lake. The water of Mansarova feels warm, while the water of the other one is icy cold in a way these lakes represent the sun and the moon on Earth. Which is quite remarkable from these accounts, it is clear that Mount Kailash is a special region. 
but unfortunately all the expeditions and research on the mountain has been banned now. We may have to wait for a long time before the truth of this marvelous mountain comes before everyone. Thank you.